The celebrity in chief spends a few cool and cozy minutes with Jay Leno. And yes, I watched the whole thing so you didn't have to. And of course, I've got a little something to say about a lot of Obama's chatter. On this edition of Liberty News TV, I'm Norval Rose. From the President's palling around session on The Tonight Show, let's see what's time worthy, how we could learn something, gain insight, peel back a revelation, offer a few observations, and have some fun doing it. In his first real public comment on this latest terror threat, the one that's closed so many embassies and consulates, Mr. Obama said, yes, it's, it's kind of a big deal. Well, it's significant enough that we're taking every precaution. Every precaution? But at what cost? American diplomatic presence in hotspot Middle East nations? U.S. prestige overseas? The sense that we are a nation of might and resolve? Many wonder if, with these precautions, we are saving lives or losing face, standing tall or standing down. And now we have to wonder if the president is signaling a crackdown on killer cars. And the odds of people dying in a terrorist attack obviously are still a lot lower than in a car accident, sure, unfortunately. Sure. From gun control to car control, who knows where this people control, health care control, mind control government is really going. Well, one thing I've tried to do as president is uh, not overreact. No, no overreacting. One word, Trayvon. It's important for me not to prejudge something. One word, Trayvon. But come on now, POTUS is that mindful sentry on the wall, always watching out for the safety and security of Americans. You know, the first thing I think about when I wake up and the last thing I think about when I go to bed is making sure that I'm doing everything I can to keep Americans safe. Every waking moment, Barack Obama's number one priority, America's safety. My number one priority at all times is how do we create an economy where if you work hard in this country, you can succeed. Wait, 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 hold it. I I thought he said his number one priority was our safety, but then he says it's, it's the economy. Does this make anyone else skeptical of what Obama claims? We should have a healthy skepticism mm -hmm. about what government's doing. Ah yes, healthy skepticism. Like with the IRS targeting of conservative groups, or those widespread NSA domestic surveillance programs. There is no spying on Americans. Uh, you know, we don't have a domestic spying program. No, 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 of course not. No government spying, no eavesdropping, no collection and storage of massive amounts of metadata, no domestic drones. But then on a lighter note, Jay Leno asked the Prez what he did recently to celebrate his birthday. Had a bunch of friends come over who I uh, don't see that often from high school and college. Right. And friends from college? You mean the ones that actually were with you at college, the ones who saw you at some college. The ones who remember you from some class at some college. But then there were also the birthday photo ops at the White House. We do departure photos of people who are transitioning out of the White House and we let them bring their families in, they take a picture in the Oval Office. And the one White House departure photo that so many of us would like to see? And that is Liberty News TV for today. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks so much for joining us, and we do hope to see you right here next time.